Which vegan brat's the best? And which one's the worst? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we are joined by actor, writer, and now author of the new book, Ronan Boyle and the Bridge of Riddles. It's Thomas Lennon! Hello! Whoa! Tom! <laughs> I did a spin take like I didn't know I was going to be on your show. <laughs> of course here, I knew man. I was going to be here. I'm here. You're so, here. It's You're, good to oh, see yes. you guys. Yes. 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 Last time we saw you, Rhett we were clothed and in your hot That's tub. That's right. The other Flashback? <laughs> if you guys want to All right. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Great flashback, guys. It's fun to be in a flashback. Yes. 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 It was. Ah. It was. It was now, so fabulous we know and hot. You're, you're currently living the vegetarian lifestyle. I, I'm an erstwhile vegetarian. Some, uh, I, I do long chunks as a vegetarian, then sometimes I. But you're currently wagon, but, you're in yeah. a stretch right now. I'm in a okay. stretch right now. Yeah. That's good because mm -hmm. that makes you the perfect candidate for our goal today to find the best mm -hmm. vegan sausage substitute the world and science has to offer. It's time for fake meat of mine. Vegan sausage, is it good? So good, so good. I wasn't expecting the theme song, guys. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> Only for mm -hmm. you, Tom. You right. Can I tell people you were practicing that before? No, I wasn't. I no, we weren't. Why. And then, spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we you don't. could tell that you practiced it because it looked amazing. So it could be <laughs> so good. All right. We're going to try the leading vegan sausage brands, and we're going to rank them on a scale mm -hmm. of one to ten. But because right. you're a vegetarian, which mm -hmm. is... In our minds, almost vegan. Oh yeah, okay. Then Halfway. you're not in, not in most vegans' minds, but yeah. okay. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, your score is going to count twice. That makes sense. Ours is each going to count once. And right. We're going to compile all those scores and come up with the best vegan sausage. Great. Ever. People are going to throw throw them at us. Um, oh, that could be, might be a range. They will come in in an interesting we're way. Gonna, the winner yes. will be crowned Vegan Brian, or it's more of a name tag. Let's get to it. Round one. one. Now, each sausage will be delivered to us via a Veagle Beagle. It's a dog and a forced rhyme. Bring in the Veagle Beagle. Oh. Oh. I doubled up on your music was, cue, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> did you, like, no, you were just I don't know, project I just, your I mouth trumpet <laughs> into, like, I did. more of a regal trumpet? This is the power that I have. All right, this, this is, is the, the Light one? Life Smart Sausage mm -hmm. okay. Italian. So. Okay. Everybody grab it, grab mm -hmm. it. There's sausage here. It's soy based, got some dry vegetables, potato starch. Ooh, evaporated cane sugar. I'm not kidding when I say it smells amazing. And it has a very meat like mm -hmm. quality. We're going to dink our sausages. Dink them. And then we're going to sink <laughs> our sink sausages. <laughs> oh. Okay. Once you get in there, mm -hmm. it's very evident this, this is not mm -hmm. meat. Im imposing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's confusing a little bit. It's a spongy. Fibrous. Oh, it's real, it's real kicky on the inside. Yeah. It's like, um... It's like eating the stuffing from a teddy bear. I feel like this is what somebody on The Sopranos, what their car smells like. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess I mean that, I mean that in exactly <laughs> what, what I thought. Like, <laughs> right. You get in the car. And, <laughs> That's right. Like, hey, Polly Walnuts. It, it tastes much better really? than it feels. Yeah, it was at the gym. <laughs> it tastes better than it feels, you think? Yeah. That feels good to me. The mouthfeel. Mouthfeel is real bad. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say real bad. <laughs> they're not a sponsor. It's a strength. They're not. Nope. The mouth feels real bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. I don't mind the taste at all. Taste is great. I think I'm going with a five. It's a one. <laughs> it's about I'm a one. A, I'm gonna give it a four. Wow. You all don't right. know where we where we're going from here. I mean, this was. You, you so might this be going was, negative. This was the great one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> it's again. Smell wonderful. It smells wonderful. Don't you think? Yeah. I love the outside of this casing. And okay. you're still giving it a one. So we got five, mm -hmm. four, and one. And that gives us a total of 11. Round two. All right, bring in the Viggle Biggle. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna try to get different this different one music. like this. Okay, he's here. That's he's a, here. A little, Welcome. A, a okay. little long, a little long. Okay, right. By this the way, is- the Beagle, not only does he have a hat, he has poor vision, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. When did- That's why he's attached to a stick. <laughs> okay. He can be led around by. Okay, this is Amy's Meatless Veggie Sausage. Mm -hmm. It is quinoa and rice, well, quinoa, red rice, tofu, and potato. Mm -hmm. And then it has a bunch of uh, varied vegetables in there as well. Okay, we're gonna dink, well, if you've bitten it, don't mm -hmm. dink it. The, my favorite thing about eating all these, because I'm a bit of a germaphobe, is that there's like eight hipster dudes who handle everyone just <laughs> yeah. out of my eye line. That's and what we call just it. like rolling them around with their strange mustaches. 
There's just, <laughs> there's just a, like a, so many weird people have touched us by the time it gets to us. Yeah. Look Welcome at to my entire life, Tom. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of the taste is the thing, and from the right. hipster guys who just handed hipster it hands. in. <laughs> hipster hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hipster hands. Hipster mm-hmm. hands. Mm-hmm. Definitely your microbiome is going I'll, to be impacted by whatever is on their fingers. I'll tell you, on the nose, I uh, love it. And then you bite it, and it's crunchy. I love it. Much better texture. I love it. Incidentally, here's a picture of Amy. Actually, this is the president of Global Xavier Unkovich. He loves sausage and karate. Hmm. Yeah, he does. We've done our research, Tom. Um. Guys, I, it's exactly the right size, which also makes me realize what I didn't, something I didn't really notice about number one, is too big. Or too big. It's too, too large. You, it's don't too want, big. you don't want a sausage. This is like you could sit in a big. movie and have a bucket of these. <laughs> I'll take the <laughs> great. That, that, I'll take the vegan bucket of hipster handed sausages, please. Again, some of this is just the mustache wax that's on it, but it's unbelievably good. I, okay, this is we're going. We're going to go. go, go, go to the, we're going to the board. I like it. I've eaten the whole thing. (laughs) I legit love it, and I'm going to go... It's a nine. Whoa! Go from a one to a nine. Yep. I mean... Uh, I really like it. I'm giving it a seven. I I was going to say seven. Okay. Okay. Better texture, uh, but I mean, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not... I don't want to eat it at the movies, is all I'm saying. So that brings us to a total of 32. Round Round three. three. Bring in that Beagle Beagle. Okay. Yeah. It, you don't have to play the whole, I mean, we get it. <laughs> All right, this is the Tofurky Artisan Sausage Kilbasa. Mm. Are you sure it's just mm. not three cigars? It really feels like three cigars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm take the dented one, because it's your show. <sighs> this one, first of all, so hot, you guys. It's wow. so hot. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, hipster weirdos. <laughs> That's like the surface of the sun. That was heated up. Have you ever get, uh, ordered like a breakfast item at Starbucks? Yes. Oh, yes. And you have to wait Why so is it, long. It's, it comes and out. then it, that, the, those egg things. Comes out That's just like I'm the surface about. of the sun. This is really hot. Thank Does you. it help to just dip it in water? It could, <laughs> yeah. Okay, ouch. Okay, sorry. I think we're going to get hurt if we eat this, guys. It's too hot. Uh, it's tofu, roasted poblano pepper, sweet Ooh, berries. Mm-hmm. Oh. Smell almost nothing on the nose. Oh my God. Oh. It's orange. We're back to where the first one was in terms of texture. Mm hmm. It's, it's like, way too thick. It's way too thick. And it's, it's like biting a pillow. I feel like I would like packing peanuts more. Oh, well, we've had those. They're good. Just regular packing peanuts. Mm hmm. Uh, it tastes like you left a regular sausage in the attic and then moved out. Do you know? And it, then someone else moved in. Yes. And then you moved back in after they moved out, and the sausage oh. was still there. And then you ate it. Did you guys see the King Tut exhibit when it was at the museum? No, I thought about it. If you took a bite out of the actual yeah. <laughs> King Tut today, right. right? Are you talking mummified Egyptian penis? Uh, any part. I should, I should have put cat in there. That would have made it more palatable. Um, I, I truly hate it. It's awful. It's I, horrible. It's Really, really terrible. The Zero. fact that it made it through some kind of like research and development process, and then that seems impossible. And then made it's on a shelf somewhere. Is it? This is a real <laughs> item. By the way, I actually love their slices. I don't work for the Tofurky people, but I did have Tofurky. Their slices are amazing. On your way those? in? Literally at home. Oh, I keep them. All right, at home so and I just roll them up with yellow mustard. It's amazing. Okay, we this, believe in you, Tofurky, but not for this. I don't know what zero. Ha- this can we do? Is, we can go zero. I'm gonna go zero on this. I'm gonna go one, just so why? Because that leaves the possibility of going completely zero on another one. And if I'm not mistaken, this brings us to a grand total of one. one. Wow. Round four. Cue that beagle. Okay. All right. Get, do it. Can we get it? Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. What is this? And this one is Beyond Meat. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. So we've, we've heard about we've got a six six guard from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> we've got great experience with the Beyond Meat These company. People know what they're doing. Uh, this has got water, pea protein, refined. Co- you know, what? I'm not even going to read all of the ingredients because that doesn't make it sound good. Let's no. just imagine it. that it's just sausage. Well, they yep. call it Beyond Sausage, the original brat flavor. Think it. And okay, the sm- it smells like a brat. You're right. Oh. They've done something with the texture mm-hmm. to create a bounciness. It feels broady. That you do not get in the other ones. It, it apparently mm-hmm. sizzles identically to a traditional meat sausage, according to my notes. Mm-hmm. Although, my question would be, can you cook it like a brat? Can you cook it in beer? Which would only make it better. 
Uh, I, I like. Can it. you go like get a beer? Lot. We'll take your calls. <laughs> um, we're, wanna, ta- we're taking another bite. It. I want to keep eating. it. I actually really like it. Mm-hmm. I really like it. The taste of Boulder, Colorado, um, in a cylindrical casing. That's that's a good sausage. Yeah, and this is by the way. Imagine if you put a little like uh, interesting mustard on that. Interesting mustard, yeah. not regular mustard. And they've, you make a good point that a brat is not fully a brat until it's mustard fied. So we're, I mean, we're really this being is, hard gonna, on these. This brats. is pure. So this we're one, isolating the flavor. This is going to be very, very tough to beat. Yeah, very tough. You've already given out a nine. You might have to bust the top of your scale. Well, we'll go ten. Oh, I'm going to go ten on the beyond meat. He's brat. respecting hey. the scale. Um, I won't break the scale, but I believe it's really, really solid. I'm going nine. Yeah, maybe Excellent. there's something out there. I'm also going nine. Ooh. Bringing us to a 38. Round five. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask you to bring the dog in, but I would just prefer if you didn't even start the music. Bring the dog in. Oh, come on. You just couldn't help yourself. Look, he's eating one of the sauces. He is having a fight him, fight him for it. Fight him for it. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, give me it. Please don't give it. Please give it. Just three adult men. Oh, you give me that. Who's that? Vehicle? Who's that? Vehicle? Okay. Oh. Morningstar Farms original yes. sausage patties. Now Morningstar, they've been in the they've been in the the vegetarian oh, meat for a game minute. for yeah. a long time. They've been inside mm-hmm. vegetarians for right thirty years mm-hmm. or however long. So we got water, gluten, soy protein, egg whites, spices. It's pretty simple. It smells it smells good. nice and spicy. Can I say this? And I mean this in the best possible way. It smells like when you're a kid and you walk into McDonald's. That kind of smell. That like everything's cooking at one time. Oh, it yeah. does have something like in like that. a yeah. Nostalgia. Lardy. Childhood childhood lard. Lardy nostalgia. Mm-hmm. You all right? Think oh. it. Sink it. Oh. Taste it. Oh, hold on mm. a second. That's really good. That's impressive. It's pretty good. Oh, man. Um, It's interesting because this is, you know, the brat was trying to be a brat. Yeah. There's, I guess, is a... It's trying I think to be like a breakfast sauce. They're winning with the spices. Guys... I got a good number for it. I love this. I like it. I do not like it as much as I the don't, Beyond. I don't either. But I really? do like it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. I like it so much. I'm I'm going to the top of my scale. Tippity top all the way to 10. I think it's a solid eight. I went nine before, so. Uh, hey, should we point out this one has egg whites, so it's not uh, really vegan? Oh, uh, yeah. that's why I like it so much. That's why you like it so much. Oh. So yeah. this is vegetarian, but yeah. it's not technically vegan. Okay, no. well, I, I, I can only still give it the score I'm gonna give it, based mm-hmm. on taste. Which is? Eight. Bringing us to a grand total of 34. And so with an overall score of 38, the vegan sausage champ and the title of Vegan Brian goes to Beyond Original Bro. Yeah. Hit the music, no, don't, <laughs> oh yes <laughs> dude, don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Look Who's at good? that. Who's good, who's good, who's good. And let's put who's this right good? on. There, yeah, right up. So we... it up. Thank you, Thomas Lennon, for stopping by. Make sure you get his new book. It's Ronan Boyle and the Bridge of Riddles on get sale it, now. Get it together. Can you get them all yeah. both yeah, together? Get it all in one shot. <laughs> That's an amazing showbiz. This feels like show business, guys. <laughs> right, we're doing it. Thanks for mm-hmm. liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. What's up? My name's Joshua, and we're in the mountains of South Africa. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, I love the energy. <laughs> Click yeah. the top link to watch us taste top vegan mayo and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Oh. Our summer tour is officially on sale today. You can see us live in concert June 21st through the 30th, and you can see all the tour dates at retlinklive.com.